Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel for a, another plan with me video. This episode is going to be a little different from my previous plan with me's. I am going to do a plan as I go with a new horizontal kit that I did for my shop. This is a cacti and succulents kit that I did and it's really just some cute doodles and nice colors and glitter and so I had a lot of fun putting this together and I couldn't wait to use it for in my planner. Um, so to start off with I'm going to go to the first page and put in a little glitter page flag um, to cover up the yellow flag that's there on the planner page. And then something I've been doing with the pages in my planner is I've been using washi and trimming up the edges and creating like a little ribbon effect. Um, and I've been doing this with a couple of strips. So I'll take a medium or large strip of washi and put it there on top, um, kind of right next to the month and the year and trim it down. And then I will grab a smaller washi um, and trim it as well. Trim the ends just to kind of give it a little ribbon effect and then place it underneath the larger washi just to kind of um, do something different because I really don't do um, washi strips in my kits for um, for my planner pages. I really just like doing something else, um, whether it's using decorative stickers on top or using washi to kind of make things pop out a little bit. And so for Monday, I'll start with the date cover and the to-do sticker. And then I really have enjoyed using these little um, washi strips or sticker strips for separating the different sections of my day and my planner so that I can kind of keep track of which section is for what. So I usually have um, my task box, my little things, the things that it's mostly kind of a memory um, maker. And then um, I have been also charting in the weather. So I will use a smaller part for charting in the weather. Um, but the first thing I do is put in the, oops, almost forgot the date. <laughs> and I put in the things that I know are gonna be happening this day. So I used a build due sticker from the kit and just wrote in a couple of things that are due at the beginning of the month and um, then finished writing out the tasks that I needed to do for the day. And I really like these little little thing stickers because they're not really tasks, more of just things that um, I will get done or that I do need to get do need to get done. Um, and then uh, that there, I was just going to the back of my planner into the pocket folder to grab some of the extra sticker sheets that I've been using the leftover stickers from. And I know that kind of looks like meal ran, but I was writing meal plan there. That was something that I wanted to get done, getting a meal plan done for the week. Um, and then here it, I am drawing in the weather. I've been enjoying doing this, just a little doodle of what the weather is going to be like for the day. It kind of um, doing it first thing in the morning when I set up my planner um, kind of prepares me for how things are going to be that day so I can figure out um, what we need to do if we need to take rain jackets or umbrellas or anything like that. And these are um, Tombow brush pens that I've been using to kind of color in and do some different things for my planner. And I decided that for this kit, I was going to do circles um, for my check boxes. And instead of checking things off, I was going to color in the circle when it was done. And so here I'm using um, a color from the Tombow brush pen and the blender pen and coloring in the cactus doodle um, sticker that came with the kit. I wanted to see if the ink from the sticker would bleed with the brush with the blend pen and it really didn't so I was pretty happy with that. I'm sure that if I went over and over the ink on the sticker that it eventually would have blended in. And here I'm filling in everything that I completed for Monday and the arrow next to Boomer, which is my puppy dog. Um, I wrote that in there to give her a bath that day and I didn't get it done. And so I put an arrow there to signify that it wasn't completed and to move it into the next day. And so I was setting up Tuesday here and I apologize that it was cut off from view. I realized that I 
didn't happen uh, in frame, so I went ahead and moved it. And so here um, I'm using um, one of the reminder stickers or half box stickers and put it um, sideways so that it's vertical up and down so I could write in um, a reminder for school picture day. And the little face there is a sticker that came with a bunch of emoji stickers from one of the odd loop sticker kits that I purchased um, a few months ago. And so here again, I'm just sectioning off my day um, and using a decorative box for the end. And in designing this kit, I tried to utilize the colors that um, were in the, the doodles of the succulents and the cactuses, or cacti, however you want to say. And so um, I was really trying to do some contrasting with the primary colors, um, or in the colors that were in this, in, in the kit. So here I'm just writing in the to-dos that I needed to do for Tuesday. Um, just. I always write in, um, even if it's something that happens every week, I always want to remember to write things in, um, especially like $2 Tuesday. It just helps me to remember that I need to post things like that on my Instagram and on Facebook for my $2 Tuesday sales. And then here I'm <laughs> trying to peel a sticker from my functional um, icon sheet. So instead of using a checkbox, I put an icon dot there um, just to mark in that my husband was going to be working late that day. And so I wasn't going to have to make an adult dinner is what I call it. <laughs> when Usually when he's gone, I try to do something that mostly it's like a kid's kid friendly dinner. And then here I'm just taking in some of these little thing stickers and writing in the things that um, I was going to get done or did get done and then just fill them out on those stickers and place them under the little things area. And here we are on Wednesday. Um, it is half the week now and I am um, just going ahead and starting out um, setting up my different sections for Wednesday. And I'm always so scared I'm going to get this little washi strip, this little sticker strip all um, messed up. So I was really trying not to get it stuck. It was kind of sticking together at the end there because it curls up when you take it off of the sticker sheet. So I was trying to be really careful so that it wouldn't stick to itself. So here on Wednesday, um, we were already starting to run out of groceries, even though I already went grocery shopping, I swear, not that long ago. So we had already started running low on milk and um, the kids always like to have uh, some sort of fresh fruit in their lunches when they go to school. So I wrote down a couple of things I needed to get from the store that I didn't want to forget that we needed. And then these are some new stickers that I am going to put in the shop soon. These are some color-coded appointment stickers. Uh, you can kind of see on there I wrote some, um, I wrote a label on top of each color area so that it signifies whether it is a personal appointment, um, a home appointment, a school appointment, or um, something that's going on with my husband. And so he actually had a meeting that night, so I put, um, what it was um, in the little color-coded area and then grab an extra green arrow sticker from the me and my big ideas happy planner sticker book and then grabbed a couple of decorative stickers to fill in the extra space and i got some new clothes um, that were delivered and so i needed to make sure that i got all the tags off and washed those um, I also have some new kits that I'm still working on, especially for the holidays that are coming up. So I needed to remind myself that I needed to get those things taken care of. 
And I wrote bank on this little thing sticker and then used an icon from my icon dot sheet um, to cover up the icon that was already there. I uh, had a little envelope on it so I decided to use a money sign to signify I needed to go to the bank that day. So I remembered here on Wednesday that I did not do anything with the notes section on the second page of my horizontal planner so I decided to go ahead and get that set up because there were some things that were going on that week and that were coming up for the next week that I wanted to get written in. So here I am writing for the this week, next week, and using the extra glitter washi to section off the different areas. And then I have the last area is a goals area. And I like to use this notes area to write in the upcoming events for the next week so that I don't have to use any post-it notes or any other kind of notes for writing in on the next week's spread before I'm ready to actually get stickers and get things written in for that, that week or that day that things are happening. And I almost forgot to write in the weather <laughs> for what was going on with the weather that day. It was going to be gorgeous and beautiful. So it was been, it's been pretty nice drawing in these fluffy clouds and um, bright suns for my little spread each day. And I decided again to use my Tombow pens to color in the succulent um, just to kind of see how it would look. So here I am. Um, filling in the things that I completed and putting in the arrow for things that were not completed. And I didn't actually get to go to the grocery store on Wednesday, so I had to put arrows in for my to-dos that I needed to get done. So here we are Thursday. I am setting up my date cover and my to-dos, or my todays. And I typically don't do an extra um, divider strip for the uh, for Thursday, so I just leave the bottom of the page blank, and um, it's okay with me because I'm I am not a uh, no white space planner, so I actually enjoy having a little bit of white space in my planner um, and going back in and decorating later on during the week if I ever feel like it, and so. Um, I usually just use the washi or the divider strip in the kit for the next week. So on when I go in for Friday, I'll use the, the next divider strip and it's all color coded. So it will be it is easy on, to see on the kit where you're supposed to be using these. And I forgot to mark in that we had our propane checked um, on Wednesday. Uh, we needed to make sure we had enough propane in our tanks for the upcoming winter because it would have been so bad to run out before uh, old mid winter got here. So I wrote in for Thursday um, that I needed to go to the grocery store, um, that I had some cleaning up we needed to do around the house. Um, and I had some orders come in, so I needed to do some uh, print and cut of um, some different sticker sheets that were kind of custom. Um, I have some teacher stickers that are in my shop and you can customize what month you need for the um, teacher planner headers. And so because I was going to be out for most of the day I decided to do a crock pot meal so I grabbed a crock pot sticker from my shop and put in that we we're going to have a pork roast for dinner that night so it needed to go in, um, in that, that morning. And then I also needed to remember that while I was out that the van needed gas. <laughs> so I wrote that in on that really bright banner sticker there and put that under my little things area. Okay, so I'm coming back at the end of the day Thursday and putting in everything that I, or filling in the circles that I completed and putting in arrows for the things that were not completed that day. Um, and then 
there was a lecture going on um, that evening that my husband was going to go to, so I was putting that in my little things area to mark that and that he was going to be there that evening. And then it's October and so I wanted to put something in that we were going to be having a movie night. We've been enjoying watching some uh, Halloween themed movies to kind of get in the mood for the Halloween season coming up. And so here on Friday, um, I'm going to start off with putting in the date cover and the to-dos just like usual. Um, and there was one thing I didn't do for my second page of my planner that I didn't even realize I didn't do um, was decorating the top of the page with the same uh, two strips of washi that I did on the first part. And so I realized that I think on Saturday and I just never went back and did it. So um, it really doesn't bother me that much that I only had one page decorated. Um, so I just left it as it was and <laughs> went on with planning out the rest of my week. And so for Friday I had um, another custom order come in and so they needed some Christmas samplers for giveaways and so I was pretty excited to do that because that was going to kind of keep me motivated um, with getting stickers ready for the Christmas season. Um, if I usually um, am okay with doing custom orders um, if it is something that I can get done and that I don't have a timed deadline of getting something done. So I've had people contact me on Etsy or through my Gmail account um, asking for uh, custom orders and I have no problems working with people if I can do it. Um, and I would always let you know if I can or can't. <laughs> And so on here on Friday, I ended up going um, to the to my husband's office, and we hung up a sign out at his um, his new office area, and then we had lunch um, by the Columbia River, and we saw the sea lions out, and they were playing. So I really I was loving watching them swim around in the river, and so I wanted to put that in my planner. Um, just that we were able to do that that day. <laughs> and then we also went to um, a butcher that was in the downtown area and we bought some steaks and we ended up having those for dinner and they were just lovely. <laughs> And I was actually pretty proud of myself for being gone for most of the day or most of the morning on Friday. I was able to come home and get um, <laughs> all of my to-dos done. Um, so everything was filled in and no arrows <laughs> were put there <laughs> that I needed to get things done for the next day. And Saturday I think was one of my favorite colors, the purple and the purple glitter. I just didn't know. I really enjoyed the purple um, that was there. It was one of um, probably one of my favorite days this week too just because we took it just very easy. It was so relaxing. It was a little cold and a little rainy at times. It was kind of spotty rain so it didn't rain all day so it kind of came and went. Um, my husband had to go to um, a recycling event and so I had to put that in that he was going to be gone that morning um, and then here I am just filling in my to-dos for Saturday where there were just a few things that I wanted to write in to see if I could get done that day. I knew I wasn't going to be able to get get to all of it but um, it was just kind of like hopeful thinking. And I'm using the blender brush from the Tombow pen to, um, or Tombow pen set to make the rest of that cloud blue. And so here I am just kind of <clears throat> putting in the, uh, coloring in the circles for the things that I did on Saturday that I completed. And um, we ended up also going to a kite festival that was going on by the beach. And it was the best day for it because it was um, kind of windy with the rain that was coming and going. So the kites were flying and they were just it's something that the kids really enjoyed seeing that day.
And here we are on Sunday, the last day of the week. Um, I'm just putting, setting up the different sections for Sunday and grabbing the divider strip to cover in that area between Sunday and the notes area. I really didn't know what to expect for Sunday, so what I did was that morning um, filmed this and did all of my um, day setup and then filled in the to in the today area the things that I knew we were going to be doing that day but then leaving a lot blank um, and I knew the first thing that we were going to do was go to church that morning and so instead of putting in um, to, uh, little things I just put in a little bible icon dot in and as the first thing for that day was that we were going to church and then of course filling in the weather for the day because we I didn't know what to expect what we might think of doing um, last minute so I figured if I, at least I knew what the weather was going to be like then we could plan accordingly. And then I was looking for these, I was looking for these little um, emoji guys from Odd Loop because um, I knew there was a little face in there I wanted to use because it was a gorgeous day that day. Um, we um, ended up going to one of the state parks in town, um, or not in town, but a town over um, where there was a, um, a fort from one of the Lewis and Clark um, expeditions and so we ended up going and doing that which was a lot of fun and the kids got to kind of see a, a mock-up of what the fort looked like and um, we got to kind of tour the museum a little bit and we got them some things from the gift shop. So I'm zooming out here so you can see my two pages side by side. And these are the stickers that I have left off the sheets. Um, I will probably be using them throughout um, my planner pages or my monthly spread. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Bye.